guys. What's going on, Megan here? Next one is from uh, Lo Otomano. How long should it take for a skinny, a skinny fat 15 year old to become lean and muscular? Should I bulk and then cut or do the high carbs and high activity day and vice versa? Tips. I used to do intermittent fasting, but it didn't work. Blah, blah, blah. All right, all right. Uh, great question. So, because again, skinny fats, I understand you guys, man. Fellow skinny fat right here, guys. I know exactly what the struggle is like. But for those of you guys who don't know, what it's like to be a skinny fat motherfucker. Um, we have skinny limbs and we have, you know, fat bellies, fat cheeks, right? I always joke around about that picture when I was a kid. I'm going to put it on the screen so you guys can see it. That's the perfect example of skinny fat. Skinny ass, because normally when you're fat, you have like also fat limbs, big limbs, big calves, big legs. But when you're skinny, you're just overall skinny, right? Skinny fat, we're just in the middle. We look retarded than a motherfucker, right? So you can't just bulk a cut, right? Because when you bulk, yes, your limbs grow, but your stomach is already big to begin with, right? Your cheeks and everything. When If you just decide to cut, yeah, you might lose the, the, the stomach, but your limbs are already skinny as hell, so that also gets smaller. So we can't do the, the typical bulk and cut in the beginning. Um, and I wish I could go back in time and, and teach myself the, the ways to really combat that. Obviously, you know, learned a lot over the years. What you want to do is you want to do total body re body recomposition, right? So don't don't think in terms of cutting and bulking. In fact, you don't want to cut your calories, right? That's the worst thing. In fact, that's the worst thing you want to do if you're skinny fat is to reduce your calories. You know, um, for several reasons, you know, because again, your your hormones are kind of fucked up, right? I, I always I always recommend before you start anything, get do some blood work because blood work changes the game. Once you do some blood work and you check your main hormones, you know, testosterone, uh, LH, uh, GnRH, uh, cortisol, leptin, insulin, you know, prolactin. It gives you a clear picture, especially thyroid. Also, I should have mentioned that first. It gives you a clear picture of what the fuck is going, you know, with your body. I can tell you guys, hormones decide everything. Hormones decide. If you're going to be muscular, if you're going to be lean, if you're going to be fat, if you're going to be skinny fat. So check your imbalances and make sure they're fine. If they're not, then based on your hormones, then we could give you different plans. I could help you. I give you opinions of what you should do, how you could use food and lifestyle changes to manipulate that shit. Um, so do that first. Now, let's assume that your blood work comes back and you find out that, you know, shit, you insulin resistant, you know, which is the case for a lot of people that are skinny fat. You know, you, your cells are not really sensitive to, you know, to, to insulin. So that changes what kind of you know nutrition program you're going to follow. Remember, I keep mentioning nutrition and not training. You notice I didn't mention training yet because I keep telling you, all training, nutrition, digestion, all that shit, that's 80% of the picture, right, of body recomposition and all that. Training is just a stimulus, just a stimulus to get those growth factors going, but the rest comes back to your lifestyle and your, your eating. So, again, do that blood work. That's the first thing. And based on that, uh, see what you could change. If you're insulin resistant, again, you don't want to go, you don't want to carb up like I recommend skinny people to do, people that are just pure skinny because, um, you know, you're just going to get fatter. Uh, but if you're insulin, if you're not insulin resistant, you're not leptin resistant, you know, resistant, which is very important too, check your leptin, um, then I would consider high protein, right? Follow a high protein diet for several reasons. Again, not for growth. When I say, when I tell people to take a, do a higher protein diet, it's not for growth. You don't need that much protein to fucking grow. I've already made tons of videos about that, right? You, you do need sufficient protein, but not as much as you need. When I say high protein, it's mainly for the, the, the other benefits of protein, you know, in terms of like controlling fat gain. You know, to this day, there are still idiots out there who still think that protein is just like every other micronutrient, you know, and it's all about just a calorie, you know, like, oh, four grams of protein. You know, just multiply that by four, you know, it's the same thing as eating four grams of carbs. No. Protein has a lot of effects on um, your hormone release, your your fat storage, your thermic effect of food, things like that. You're getting more carnitine, that's going to help with fat loss. You know, tons of benefits of a high protein diet if your goal is body recomposition. I'm not talking about bulking. When you're bulking and you're skinny, carbs are fucking king. You know, but um, uh, granted, you're taking sufficient protein, of course. But in your case, if you're skinny fat, high protein diet. Follow a high protein diet. Um, and you're going to notice, you know, again, don't cut your calories too much. You can, but don't don't overdo it. I hear people cut their calories simply because they always come back with thyroid issues, always. And you know, once your T3 slows down, you know, when your calories are cut down, your cortisol goes up, of course, and it increases the conversion of, you know, uh, T3 to reverse T3, which is actually the opposite of the effects of T3. So it slows down your metabolism, and it, it makes you gain fat even even more when you, when you end your, your fucking cut. So, again, that's not both sides, that's pure science. So, uh, 
I don't, if you're skinny fat, I don't recommend going on a, on a cut or a severe cut. Just increase the fuck out of your protein. So it's going to help you put on size slightly, but it, but it's really the, the fat, the fat loss effects of protein are going to kick in, right? That's why I'm recommending a high protein diet. Obviously, make sure you're drinking a lot of water, make sure your digestion, your protein digestion is optimal, uh, hydrochloric acid, things like that. You know, I mentioned previous videos. Um, and that should take care of the skinny fat problem. Now, this is assuming that your blood work came back and you don't have any major deficiencies, in which case you have to address that. As far as training, same shit I keep repeating, man. Full body workout or push pull. Uh, focus on the three, you know, for in the HSP training, you know, the, the three main lifts, a heavy movement, a, a stretching movement, which is the most important, and then a, an occlusion exercise. Uh, that should take care of all the requirements and activate all the genes for hypertrophy. Um, you know, reset your mTOR after periods of long periods of non-stop training. You know, things like that. You know, the training takes care of itself. But with the nutrition is how you're going to fix the skinny fat problem, all right? Hope this helps. Team through the alpha. Like, subscribe, share. Comment your questions below. That's where the questions come from. That's where the videos come from. And don't forget to help each other out in the comment section. That's the goal of the comment section is to get questions from you guys. And to see feedback and you guys, you know, answering. Because I, I, I love the subscribers that see that I'm getting the same questions over and over again. And then they jump in and they're like, all right, this is the answer. That, that saves me from having to make repeat videos. So keep, you know, keep that thing going, guys. Really appreciate it for those of you that do. Again, thanks for the support. Keep the questions coming. Keep the effort out.